So I have two homemade training aids for you today. This putting sawhorse I saw online by a, an actual putting manufacturer and it was $89. And when I saw it, I knew I could make it for myself. It's three quarter inch PVC pipe, a couple of end caps and a couple of elbow joints. I'll put all of the measurements and description uh, below. And then our other device is made with two old CD-ROMs. So you can use that, CDs, DVDs that you don't use anymore um, with some hot glue or epoxy. I use some epoxy today and an old golf ball that will give you a portable hole. So wherever you're practicing, it's really nice to have the ball be captured in that device. So we'll show you the putting sawhorse again. This is quite simple. You, the sawhorse is going to do all the work for you as far as taking the putter straight back and straight through. Put the shaft of the putter on the crossbar of the sawhorse. If the uh, ball isn't exactly in the sweet spot of the putter, it's okay. What we're trying to do here is just get you the feeling of putting straight back and straight through. So allowing that shaft of your club to just take a ride there on that crossbar bar. So again, keeping lower body still and allowing upper body to do the work for you in the putting stroke. So I'll show you what it looks like with the CD-ROM just from here. And typically it'll go in and stay. And that's what we're looking for. Sometimes it breezes through it, but it's really nice because it gives you a nice target and something. There we go. All right. so. Hopefully those two things you can make for yourself and you can practice anytime, anywhere and improve on your putting game. Make those birdies, save pars and maybe throw in some eagles. Good luck.